YSU football team begins their season in the win column. They welcome the Duquesne Dukes into the 3-3-0 today as they made the short drive from Pittsburgh. We take you to the ice castle. Doug Phillips entering his third year at the helm. Duquesne coming off a loss to Florida State last week. Already had the early 7-0 lead until Jalil McLaughlin gets into the end zone. PAT good. We are tied at 7. And the YSU linebackers were on point today. Griffin Hope, the pride of Dublin, Ohio gets the pick and YSU will take over then once again Penguin linebackers on the swarm Devin Johnson with the INT to give the Penguins the ball back two consecutive interceptions then on the ensuing Penguin drive McLaughlin he's going to find a gap and hurdles over a Duquesne defender Madden tight moves to give the Penguins a 14 to 7 lead second quarter now third and five McLaughlin He's going to find a hole and jukes a couple defenders, and he is running up the sideline. See, he's pushed out of bounds and wipes his nose as he goes out of bounds. And then the drive would stall, and Colton McFadden nails a 31-yard field goal. 17-7 Gwins at the half. We go to the second half. Joe Mishler will try to get something going for Duquesne as he finds Abdul Janay for a touchdown. He had 120 receiving yards today. Duquesne trailing by three now. Next drive for YSU, third and nine on the 37. Crenshaw He's going to find Max Tomzak. Very nice pass for a 41-yard gain to make it first down. YSU then suing Duquesne drive trying to come back in this game. Third and 11. Mishler's pass intercepted by Devin Johnson, his second INT on the day. All YSU late in the fourth quarter. They go on to win 31 to 14. Jalil McLaughlin, 20 carries for 203 yards. But Doug Phillips, he's not satisfied yet. How about those linebackers? You know, I think three of our, you know, three of those interceptions was from our linebackers. Then we had one that was dropped from another linebacker. Our big push this year was to control the line of scrimmage. Our run fits. I think we're playing faster. You know, we're definitely not there yet. You know, I told the kids, you know, I'm not disappointed in their effort or their attitude. I thought they came ready to play. But, you know, sometimes, you know, we got to look at ourselves and how we can get better. Uh, for me and those guys up front, man, those guys work hard. Uh, once those guys work as hard as that, you know, I'm, I'm comfortable running behind them any day.